Yo, what's up guys, Drew here, and today I'm going to show you guys how I do my pan crop uh, on my Valorant edit, um, the poison one, so yeah, it's going to be a little short tutorial, uh, if you guys enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe, uh, yeah, and then ask me what you want to see next in the comments, and yeah, let's just get into it. So as you can see, this is my pan crop, it's just a simple in and out that yeah, pan crop's really simple so you're gonna want to take your clip and then add an adjustment layer <clears throat> after you add an adjustment layer add transform and take your scale and then keyframe it at the start and then go to the end and then zoom it into about maybe i'd say 120 to 130 125 to 130 is pretty good <clears throat> so I'll do 130. So now you take your keyframes and then you highlight them and then you F9, you easy ease them. And then you're going to want to add your graph. So the graph that I use is this one right here. You can copy it <clears throat> and just paste this into your easy layers. So it's kind of like a sharper, smooth graph, I guess. So it'll look something like this. If you don't want it to be this fast, then you can obviously um, lower your graph, like loosen it, I mean, so it could be a little slower like that, but that's just the graph I usually use. So, and now you're going to want to do the same thing for your other one, but you're just going to want to go in. So add an adjustment layer, put transform yeah keyframe the start and then make it go to like i said about i usually try and do it the same amount that i ended the last one at so this one ended at 131 this one will start at 131 and then i'll take it out go to the end of the adjustment layer and change it to 100 and then keyframe it and graph yeah as you can see it looks pretty good um you can obviously loosen your graphs um, but yeah, that's just how I did it. And now I can show you guys how to kind of spice it up a little bit. So you don't have to do that the whole time and it gets repetitive on this clip right here. If you can notice on the second zoom in, it zooms in more towards my gun. And that's a major thing that can help out because it'll kind of break up that repetitiveness. So I can show you guys how to do that really quick. It's super easy. You're just going to want to make an adjustment layer add transform start the scale at 100 and then press your position keyframe and then go to the end and zoom it in to however you want it again we'll do 125 and then you position it you move this to have your gun like <clears throat> like zoom in towards your gun like this so as you can see it goes from out to in towards my gun and then you're just gonna want to do the same thing graph it keyframe it or easy ease and graph it and then it looks like something like that another thing you can do to not make your pan crop so repetitive is what i did here so as you can see this zooms out and instead of going back in it zooms out again so all i did was add my transform scaled it out and then i put a keyframe right here just zoom this in more so i could have more impact and then i zoomed it out and if you don't want to use one adjustment layer then you can obviously do two i just use two for like or i just use one for simplicity's sake i guess so yeah you can add another adjustment layer and then just you know have it zoom in and then zoom back out so it's not too repetitive and really that's all you need for your pan crop uh yeah there's nothing really to it uh, if you guys want me to make a little shake tutorial then i will but that's pretty much how i did my pan crop it's not too hard um you can obviously do it in like a couple seconds honestly so just put that over your whole clip and it should be pretty good and yeah that's how I did my pan crop, and if you guys enjoyed, then let me know what you guys want to see next, and yeah, peace.